show in Steelyard which is a venue in London. We've just arrived now. I've got a really cool rig. Let's get the hell I mean I did. Now you've probably already noticed that front of house isn't actually at the back of the room. It's behind the stage at a high height. We did have a good view but unfortunately it was from the wrong angle. Okay, so I've done most of the programming now, uh, most of the important things are done. If you're wondering where I am right now, I'm actually in London, near London Bridge. This venue has got a really nice rig, it's got a lot of mega pointers, it's got spikies, it's got some VL, uh, VL800. But I will take you around in a bit, I'm going to have a break, have a coffee and uh, get back to it because tonight is going to be a long night. I always like to see how people decorate their front of house as well. Look at this, it's a really cosy front of house I'd say. Got the Tiger Touch here, got the wing, got the rig. A really nice rig. Brother installed this nice job because I am going to have some fun tonight. And we've also got some geysers, we've got some lasers. I'm trying to work, these are bean bars and lasers, but we'll see if we can get these working. Now I know what you're going to say, I know what you're going to say, you're going to say, Elliot, you can't sit down on tables, it's unprofessional. Well I meant sit down on chairs, it was too loud, sorry. Just relax and have drinks, it's kind of calm at the moment but later on it's going to be a bit more, well it's going to be a house and stuff which means I'm able to do more with the lights, but people are just chilling and it's only um, 2 o'clock so, yeah. <laughs> This little cubby hole, which is very hot, Jesus Christ, that's hot. <laughs> going to the next shift and apparently this is the biggest night for the venue I'm not too sure why but it's a really important night so hopefully it should be good but I will take you around the rig now actually but as you can see it's quite awkward I'm actually behind the stage in the seats uh, lining up coming that way um, and uh, basically yeah it's uh, quite annoying that but you can't really do anything about it. At least it's a nice little cosy front of house, you know? It is quite cosy, uh, but sometimes it gets quite hot. So what I've got is some mega pointies on the rig. Um, I'm just saving the smoke for the next act. Uh, we've also got some VL800s from Very Light and the spikies, which I absolutely love. And um, I think we've got about 12 spikies, I'm not too sure but I'm doing a lot of uh, 360 effects. We've got some P5s uh, along the rig as well, and some, uh, I think it's called, uh, what is it called? Shockers from uh, Shove. We've also got these lasers, but I can't get them to work. I think we need a right personality, because really all I can do for now is just a, a laser dimmer, because you can actually make them move, but for some reason it's not on there. Um, and it is the right fixture profile and everything, but it's not really a big deal really. We've got some uh, geysers either side of the venue as you can see. 
got a smoke machine down there and I'm going to be turning on a hazel which is down the corner as well. And then we've also got these Axcor uh, spots as well. And uh, yeah, I think it's a, a pretty nice rig really. I'm a, a big fan of this rig. There has been quite a few problems I've had to sort out as well. Uh, these faders haven't been cleaned so they kind of stick sometimes, uh, which is a bit annoying. And um, when I mean by stick, like let's say if we put that up, it usually goes a bit weird, as you can see it's got dim now, but the fade is actually up, so I forgot to bring some fader cleaner. That's kind of a problem, but not a big problem, the show still happened. I mean, everything else is fine. Overall though, the shows are looking good, and I am excited for this next one, but it's long. It's till four in the morning, but it should be good. I've now managed to uh, get the lasers working. I've done some effects with them. They look pretty cool. So we've had to actually build a front deck as well. I'm not too sure why. There might be dancers and stuff. Uh, but it's not a big deal. And we've also got hazel down there now uh, to fog up the room quickly or haze up the room quickly for the lasers. So we arrived here at about 7, we are now back home and uh, it was a long shift yesterday but I really did enjoy it. Finished at about 4 in the morning but it was a great rig, it was mega pointy, spikies, all that fun stuff. I absolutely loved it, uh, thank you uh, to the client for having me there, it was great and apparently it was one of the most important nights for the venue, I'm not too sure, that's what the sound guy said, um, but it was great, it was amazing, it was really fun. I arrived back at, about my, uh, at my friend's house for about five or six and uh, I mean again it wasn't too bad because it wasn't too far away and it was a great night so I hope you enjoyed this vlog but I hope you enjoyed anyway and I'll see you in the next video so we've arrived back now uh, we arrived uh, I can't <laughs> <laughs> we're back now, but we've arrived. What time did we arrive? 